Hey guys, Tristan here at Hobby Warehouse. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I've taken something out of our new art and craft range. This is the Tulip tie-dye kit. Uh, it dyes up to nine projects. I have never done a tie-dye project before. I'm a little bit challenged when it comes to art and craft, so it could be interesting, but it's a good test to see how easy this is to use. In the packet, we've got the three dyes, the primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. It's dye powder, so you need to fill it up to the line with water and shake it until that's dissolved. So I'll do that in a second. We've got rubber bands and protective gloves and instructions for doing different designs. So I'm gonna try two different designs today. The dyes are dissolved. I've got two 100% cotton t-shirts here. I have just washed them, so they're still a bit damp, which is recommended. I'm going to attempt a scrunch. It's like a mottle effect, and then one that is like a rainbow swirl. So I can't promise what the results are gonna be like, but let's find out. So the first design I'm going to try is the mottle scrunch design, where basically you just scrunch the t-shirt up into a ball, we put the lacquer bands on, and I'm just going to use the blue and yellow dyes for that. So we'll have a bit of blue, yellow, and uh, green blended in. I'm assuming. So that's scrunched up now and I'll put the lacquer bands around it. I may have gone too far with the scrunching so I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. Put one more lacquer band on this end. Got it scrunched up, I put the rubber bands on. Time for some dye. Gonna put yellow in the gaps and that will no doubt blend in. First t-shirt is done. I think I may have overdone it a little bit with the amount of dye, I'm not sure, but we'll soon find out. They recommend to put it in a sealed bag for four to 12 hours. I think I'm gonna play it safe and leave it for 12 hours. So the second pattern I'm going to try is the rainbow spiral. This does look a little bit trickier. Fingers crossed it works. spiral pattern. I've got the three rubber bands going across basically cutting it up like a pie and now it's dye time. Don't think it's going to be an amazingly perfect spiral but I hope it's a good start. Again we'll put it away in a sealed bag. I'm going to leave it for 12 hours to be safe and then We'll see the results. But as you saw, the process was really simple. The instructions were easy to follow. It is a lot of fun. I can see how you can get really creative with it. Great for kids. You probably need adult supervision just to make sure the dye doesn't go everywhere. Anyway, I will be back in 12 hours with the results of these two. So this is it. I let it sit in the bag for 12 hours, gave it a cold rinse, a hot rinse, let it sit on the line for a while to make sure the dye was color fast. I've got to say, I was pretty pleasantly surprised with how they turned out. This is the spiral here. As you saw when I was doing it, it was a very simple project, maybe 10, 15 minutes to do. This was the first time I've ever done something like this and I'm really happy with the results. Great project to do with kids, a lot of fun and the outcome is really satisfying. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe.